I don't know what's up with these OBS crashes because my internet is not dropping. Chat never gets disturbed. Uh, nothing. Like there's, and I, I don't, I'm not dropping frames. There's no frame drops. It's just suddenly OBS crashes and then it can't reach the Twitch channel, it says. If I try to reconnect right away, it's like it can't, uh, it can't. So I, I think I might need to switch Twitch servers. I might, the server might be fucked up or something. Because if it was an internet problem, I'd be dropping frames and I wouldn't see chat and all that. But there's like no internet problem whatsoever. And then it's just like Twitch is like glitching out or something. I don't know if we're on the same server though, Cairo, with you being uh, on the worst coast, you know, you, you got different servers, so. But yeah, I might have to change my server and see if that makes a difference. Okay, so anyway, the OBS crash, but when they get undevoured, they just come up again. They're not deployed, they just come back in your deck, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't know about the cooldown though, because Gravel's cooldown is so quick. Because if they come off cooldown automatically, you could actually manipulate the shit out of that. Chat Yato bait, though. Here's the thing. Even if you were gonna, like, bait those guys, there's not much reason to use Yato instead of Gravel. Like, there, there just isn't. Although, I guess Gravel won't give you the DP back if she's devoured instead of retreated. So, Kyra, how far did you get? So, so, I like it. So far, I like this chapter, but it's a little too easy. So, I kind of... Wow, you already did it? Wait, did you, like, stream Ark Knights? Then did you stream uh, Star Rail and then stream Ark Knights? What the shit? I mean, I guess I was in the roguelike there, so... Yeah, I guess you were playing when I was in... Uh... I, I guess you were playing it when I, when I was in uh, the roguelike. But yeah, so far it's been a little easy. That's been my one issue with it. And I'm kind of concerned that it's like balanced around hard mode then. Oh, okay. That's crazy though, you already beat it. Oh fuck, we're almost out of uh, sanity here. No, I don't think hard mode takes zero sanity. It just doesn't take sanity if you fail. It still costs like 40 fucking sanity per node. Unless you beat normal mode. I I'm happy to just do normal mode first, get the sanity cost down, and then like for another stream, do uh, hard mode. This is going to be interesting. Although I guess one reason why Chapter 10 might have felt harder to me was because I wasn't using Rainbow Six. But so far, none of these stages I've really needed to use Blitz or Ash or anything like that. And honestly, using the Chanka instead of Cutter would make this harder because Cutter is just better like 90% of the time. Let's look alive out there. Uh, I could have brought Scavenger, honestly. They'll pay for what they've done. Wait a minute for DP. Don't you come walking up this way. Oh my god. The bait. That really is a funny enemy, though. Kill the trees. Well, that's bad out of context. Wrong skill again. I see foul taking off. Probable ambush in the grab. Speeding up. Oh, these trees might get nasty, these last ones. I'm gonna send her back. I think we're gonna to need to redeploy that. Great luck. Won't be any use. Ah! I'm 
Holy shit! Well, that's bad. I think it was the that guy. I could have saved him too if I had just used pure stream. Gravel's having a bad time. Dude, these tree guys are going to be so awful. Fuck, I have no one for this. I need 19 DP. I can send someone back. I think we'll get Matterhorn in time. It's just Matterhorn alone. Anyone want to kill this guy? So we. Oh, God. Okay, we can just do that. Now I should have put Jay up here then. Why are you shooting that guy? Fuck. Dude, these trees are gonna murder us. Really? Oh, she got devoured. What are you- what? Nice heal! What the fuck was that? I don't think that devourer has uh, devoured anybody. Okay, game. I mean, the artillery guys are cool. Like, they're, they're fucking artillery, right? Like, I'm oh, not gonna like that. Let's see here. Durnar would have been good here because she could actually kill those dudes. I'm gonna have to level her at some point just for practicality's sake. Toter is not super good on this one. He's done pretty well so far though. I wanna use him as often as possible though because I wanna get this trust up. I might be able to try it with the same setup. We need a lot more firepower though in the middle. Might not need the two healers. Her true damage could be really good here. Hey, two packed. Nice and positive. Cairo, did you see that guy in my chat earlier? Were you here for that? I just like, in, it so casually brought up that I didn't like how in like in challenge mode that if you fail, it takes half your sanity, right? I, I, I wasn't even talking about it much. I was just like in passing. I was like, yeah, it's kind of dumb. And, and this guy, I really like it, just quit. <laughs> I was so fucking random. That was the first time that guy had ever said anything in my chat. Oh my god. Imagine criticism. Alright, um... The farther up not Kirito is, the better for hitting the trees, but it's kind of the worse for the devourer, guys. These trees are gonna be a serious problem, though. I don't know if he's gonna live there. That's three clouds hitting him. Might be getting a little optimistic here. I see clouds rising. Probable hostiles in the snow. Let's go! 
Okay, Devourer guy's dead. That's nice. So, uh, our damage is kind of mid. We really could use Pure Stream's uh, ability right now. Oh my god. That artillery timing. How could you? Oh, her, her skill is getting fucked up, I think. There's not a lot of good spots to bait the artillery either. Blitz has got it rough. Man, Toter died. <sighs> I think we're gonna get devoured here. Yep. Ready to go. Stay clear of the blast. There's still three trees up as well. I see Toter's not helping out up here anymore. Okay, she'll get eaten, I think. She put all the knives into the guy back there. That's not very useful. Oh my god, she got devoured right as she got her skill. Are you fucking kidding me with that? I'm trying- I- I've clicked gravel so many fucking times. That is so dumb. Like, I don't know why I kept clicking toter. I was trying to send gravel back so I could drop, uh, what's her face? I think we could have won that too. Okay. We might want to, uh set someone up to kill that artillery because that that's honestly the problem they're strong to physical uh i think they're weak to magic let's look alive out there ash won't do fucking anything to them oh you could set melee people up over there i see maybe cutter <laughs> I might want perfumer then though. I see cloud. Oh, that. Oh, okay, go crush that car. Let's go. You get picked to death by the corrosion guys, I think. Great luck. Stop moving. We'll see. I could also set up more to the side, but that has other problems. Use that as a distraction. Come on, Cutter. Oh fuck, it's moving! No, it can keep shooting even at 1 HP. Motherfucker! That's bad. Donkey's probably better up top to help with these guys. I literally just dropped gravel and the game was just like, no. I see you. This is a, this is a stage. We gaming now. Oh, that's a devourer incoming. 
Damn it, we got way more done last time. Like we had killed these. Oh, it's because I set her up last time. That's right. And she was popping him with the, the true damage. That's bad because these tree guys are going to be stronger than... Oh, these tree guys are going to be nuts. Okay, the artillery though, th that's got to go. All right, we're going to have to kill that. Can we have one of those though? Can we uh, put Yato in one so she's good? Could put not Kirito over there and have him activate his skill. Um, yeah, we're not really using Matterhorn. There's Yutage. She could probably fuck it up. I don't know about the second one, though. Now let's try just that. That might, that might do it. I would like to get Perfumer in here, though. Honestly, the way this stage is, we don't need J too much. Rare that I uh, don't take him, though. Also, less dudes on the team than Tisk Tisk. Toter's bringing some nice balance to the force on that one, so that, that's a start. I wish the new uh, four star in CN though was actually worth the shit. But he's like worse than Estelle, from what I've heard, like in every way. And it's not like he uses Estelle that much either. This is a tough spot to survive. Okay, doing fine. Yeah, see, they're draining her skill. It sucks. Actually, I might get us killed. Fuck, I didn't see him over there. Okay, that one died. Really having a hard time with the healing here. Hi, big guy. Be nice. Okay. She is never going to get her skill at this point. If we could kill these trees, though, that would be great. We're starting to kill a lot of bad guys, so... She didn't hit the tree. Guys, some, somebody hit this tree, please. Donkey trying to get her skill right now. Good luck. Great luck. I see you. Oh, we might want Chestnut to help us with skills. Yeah, I kind of figured on that one. Oh, I forgot about this guy. I could have got him too. Has this guy devoured someone? Yes? These three trees, dude. That guy has not devoured anyone. But I can, I can drop somebody, I think. Actually, I could use a tank right now. Not where I wanted to put her. Oh, she's going to get devoured. Why have I not been using Cutter's skill this entire time? Although maybe she didn't have it because of the drain. Fuck, I got no one to deploy. Ash clutch. 
Oh my god, Ash actually just clutched it. She freed Cutter too. Ash did something I don't believe- Oh my god, these trees are still here. Oh, that's not good. Also, damage mod check. I gotta save Ash's skill. Seriously, what the fuck is happening with our damage right now? Are these that tanky? Because I wouldn't think so. I can maybe keep this guy alive, but that's about it. Oh boy. Wow, that sucks. And they're just gonna get tougher too. Fuck. Um. Shit. I don't know if that was worth the deployment there. Okay, she still gets some of her skill duration. That's something. I would love to save donkeys for the last one if I can. Oh, he's a toughie. Okay. I should have saved that for the next time I did this skill. I can Ash skill in an emergency here. Keeping this guy alive is OP because it stops this one from waking up. I think they wake up when every enemy is dead. Like if I wanted to, I could just stall for so long here. I see foul taking off. Probable OP! That makes it so much easier. Yeah, stall meta. Blitz having a really long fight with that guy. So, uh, yeah. Waking this guy up gonna take a minute. Any day now. Okay, you know what? I think we can handle blowing the skill. All right, how tough is he? Pretty tough, but we got it. Didn't even need Ash's skill for any of that, let alone Toter. All right, auto ready. That was noticeably harder though than the previous stages. Definitely could have optimized that a bit more. Very stable play. <laughs> healing things, one blue box. This is probably if they give you healing things, it's normally something awful. Oh, I guess we kinda know how many stages there are because of that. Oh, hi. On behalf of Siege and our little alliance, I express our sincerest gratitude. What do you mean I don't dress like a knight? I mean, you don't. Looks can be bloody deceiving. Oh, that's why they're giving you guard stuff. It's to level her. I was wondering why they were doing that. 
So you have to do hard mode if you want to get her potential, huh? That's pretty rough. There's some potential from that, looks like. I don't know what you, you need to do uh, 11 15, I think, on hard mode. Which one was 11 15? Oh, that was this one. Oh, oh, joy. I'm sure Cap'n is trying to get on top of that. Oh man, we're running out of sanity here. You're killing me, game. Hmm. Green man is becoming insane. I think I already was. Yeah, always has been accurate. Let's show them what we can do. Oh, there's going straight in. Hmm? Only two red boxes. That's shockingly simple. I'm sure they'll find a way to make this terrible. I don't know how the hell you're going to use these healing squares for much. Seeming pretty simple right now. I see foul taking off. Probable ambush in the ground. Move quickly. Oh, that's a devourer. I wonder which way he goes. Rip gravel. Speeding up. At your service. Do you think I have a foul? That's a toughie. Damn, you can't do that. They probably did that on purpose. They get pretty optimal where they put some of these obstacles on the map and stuff to just mess with you. Wow, these guys do damage. Fuck. Oh, we have roadblocks. That's how you're supposed to use these healing spots. Well, a little late for that now. Fuck. Not what I wanted you to do, Ash. That was so close. Don't do that again. <laughs> I, I should have just deployed somebody there. I just didn't think I needed it. What the fuck was that? That was a Why would you need a roadblocks on that one? That was a complete joke. Maybe they're getting you ready for another stage later with roadblocks. Like if you somehow had gotten to chapter... Uh, was it 11 without using roadblocks before? I guess you can skip the 1.0 now. Not that that's recommended. I'm pretty sure being able to skip 1.0 is really just for people that farm, 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 do events, 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 and just don't do the, the main story, and then now they want to catch up. It, it's so stupid not doing the main story, because you get a lot of loot while doing it and all that. That's me. Have you done the re Wait a minute. What the fuck was that team? I saw a steward in there. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. Oh, that's Fang without the skin. I am not used to that. 
We got a perfumer, it looks like. Fucking monster, dude. What a meme. Although, monster's fine, it's Kalsit I don't like. He's just a monster guy. Who the shit is this? Oh, that's Shining. The hell is that art? Could use some damage. Oh, I kind of need a tank now. Oof. Fine. Uh oh. Not where I wanted to put monster at all. Holy shit, they coming at us now. And Perfumer can't keep up with it. Rip click. Oh, she's not looking at monster. That's bad. We're pretty dead here. Oh, we've got Korra. That would have been good. Rip monster. Okay. I hate that all the E2 art will like change what they look like. Sometimes entirely new costumes and stuff like with uh, Scavenger. But uh, you don't get them. I, I, I don't understand why they did that. And like uh, uh, Gnosis has got the, the hat and you, you don't get it. All right, you know what? We're just going to set up right there. Fuck them. What's with that square? Of course, they all come through there like that. I gotta have some straightforward damage. Fuck! Not yet. Yeah, I really would have liked Fang to live there. Need the DP. Oh, they come out right there, I see. She's not going to do a whole lot at this point. She could be good uh, in here or something. If they come back out over there anyway. That's uh, a lot. It's a boss or something? I was not expecting all of this from a like I did oh my god uh okay well uh how about that that's gonna be an issue 
Rip monster. I wonder how what the cooldown on that is. Okay, why are we not attacking him? He has no health bar. I guess you can't fight him here. He's like an event, I guess, in this part. He must be the boss, though, of like the chapter. Yeah, he's out of here. I wonder if these guys just fed off all the dead guys. God, you can't even redeploy Kalsit. She's just dead. So she dies there no matter what. This is not good. Oh, this is not good. We're gonna lose here at the end, I think. There's not much I can do here. We have no damage. I mean, Korra's doing great while she's got her shield up, but that's not gonna last forever. Uh, yeah, this is not great. Look how much more damage she takes when she doesn't ever skill up. Cardigan's not up for a bit. They need to be in this square because that's where Shining can hit. Fuck. Oh, they killed one. All right, I think we're all right. I, I swear Cardigan can handle just one. I, I couldn't tell you if they're weaker to magic or physical because no one is doing any damage. Okay, we're cutting it kind of close here. I don't know what the hell you were supposed to do to get efficient damage on these guys. Jesus. Don't skip. Oh, hey. The drone. They just have huge HP. So Project Red is what I'm getting out of this would be really good. Did she just say I'm a vampire? It looks pretty cool. I wish he had a helmet. Vampires everywhere. Not much of note happening right now. The four star heavy shooter whose name I forget. Oh, an acid? Acid drop. Yeah, she hits fast too. Yeah, she, she actually would be really good caliber. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like uh, chat just spamming Saber right away. Wait, I, I didn't read. Is this thing actually called Caliburn or something? Or, or did they say Excalibur? Because it is set in like not Britain, so.
Give the sword to Siege. Yeah, I know it's the right voice. That, that'd actually be really funny if they did that. Because I'm pretty sure they actually cast that voice actress intentionally because Siege has like the lion thing and all that. I don't think that was an accident. It, it, it's, are we actually getting air quotes Excalibur right now? It, is it named Excalibur or like what, or Londite or something? One of her lions is named Gwen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're, uh, they know what they're doing. <laughs> it was fairly, uh, intentional. We fighting Toter right now? So, do you, I'm guessing you're going to use the sword to fight the bad guy or whatever there. Because he had like a, his own sword there that wrecked Colsit. I just like how they set that up that no matter what, Colsit would die. I approve of that. We ended up not getting much value out of Monster though because of that. I should have put him like lower down on the map. Because like that other lane just went around him. We reuniting Britain here. The wave ignores everyone. No, didn't it kill? I think it killed the scorpion. I think it killed the scorpion lady. Oh, not, uh, what is it? Um, Manticore, that's the thing. Anyway, and then monster too. She might've just died to the boss auto attacking her though. I wasn't really paying attention. So how come not Britain, which honestly, I'm pretty sure just is Britain in the future. That's like the whole thing in Arknights. I think it's the regular world. It's just like way in the future after like multiple apocalypses. But anyway, um, how come not Britain gets to like have a modern version of King Arthur and stuff going on here and then not America, we just build junk. <laughs> like, why is that the American story? I blame the CCP for this one. So basically, we got a sword. What the fuck is this art? What are, what are these? What is happening with your hips, woman? Like, what what the shit is happening here? I can't tell if this is just weird body proportions. I mean, she's definitely breaking her back, but uh, I can't tell if these like pants are just really poofy or or what. Like, what the hell, dude? It's her jacket. I don't even. Either way, the way she's standing, that's fucked up. I, do I even have her? I think she's a five star. Out of the if she is a five star, I'm pretty likely to have her. In the long run, five stars are pretty easy to get, I've found. Uh, she is a specialist. Yep, I do have her. This is different art entirely. One of those. Was that his skin? It's her E2, so she's one of those.
I'm just gonna say it. I don't like this Blaze skin. Her default's way better. Now, that's kind of tempting. I do have him. I'd probably use him eventually, but man, I need every roll I can get for Noir. But that, that is a good one. Uh, he's got green sunglasses in the other one, though. I think Poi uses that one. Oh, hey, I already have this one. I don't even know who this is, but I must have got it because it was green, which I approve. But uh, I don't think I actually have her. What is with this face? Like, <laughs> very a Jessica moment there. But yeah, this skin is super good. Like, green all over the place. Five-star Vanguard. I'll see if I got her, but I don't think I do. I'll have to try to get her at some point. Can you get spooked by her? Weirdly, I don't actually have that many five-star Vanguards. But yeah, is she spookable? Yes, okay, I'll probably get her someday. It's probably just unlucky that I don't have her at this point, honestly. Like, again, five stars are pretty common in the long term. Like, seriously, look at all these. Wait, Reed is basically the this, like, Britain's Morgan? What the hell? Well, as long as it's regular Morgan and not Lost Belt Morgan, this is fine. Healing squares again. Even a healing square and a range tile. Do I want to use another sanity reset? Yeah, we'll do it. I need to take a break at some point to get food. We'll just go with this. So they also had a claim to the throne, but that got sorted in an event. So I get, are they not in this story? Because that's kind of lame if that's the case, that they're like important to the like Britain story, and then they just like, nah, we're not using them. Weird stage layout. That seems like a good spot. Wow, that's that's nice. Probable ambush in the grass. I don't know why they're giving you these healing squares. Okay, I might know. I might know now. This looks weird, but I bet you they're gonna be- Wow, they just catapult corruption, okay. Well, she's trying, but uh, that did not work out. I actually might have lived there with Perfumer skill. Whew, damage. I think the music is looping, but I'll let the song play one more time. Well, once her skill's gone, she's kind of useless. Oh. I see you. You're not like the others. Great luck. Come out. Stop hiding. But this is okay. Okay, Totor's not going to do too much at this point. These are the last enemies. I 
We have game music next, sure. I'm assuming we're getting close to the boss. Jesus Christ, she shreds those. Is there a six star version of Utage, essentially? Always happy to get rocks, yes. Helger? I mean, kinda. Like, he heals himself, but, like, he doesn't have, like, insane bursts when you drop him like she does. Yeah, they're the same class. That's not really what I mean, though. I mean more about gameplay niche, not, like, type. But, yeah, I know he heals himself. Surter. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess, Surter, actually. That's fair. Surter's so much better. Oh, my God. I, I like uh, Utage's gameplay and everything, but, yeah, Surter's, like, a million times better. Heli drop Surter. Yeah, just throw her out the uh, chopper. All right, so people wanted music. Let me do that. I can't believe I have to hide my screen every time I go to the options menu. It's just so silly. All right. Chat, why can't I use drones to speed up training? Two and a half hours, man. If I stay on top of it, though, I can get that done pretty quick. God, I love Ark Knights' music. You know, it's just so messed up that I have way more positive thoughts about my overall experience over the years with Ark Knights than FGO. Even though I'm a big Fate fan, and Ark Knights barely has any characters that I like in it. Right? But it's just, they run the game so much better. Like, playing this game is not like pulling teeth. Yeah, Chalter was like the only uh, one I saw that could do the... Like, the teaching. I, it's weird, but I had like, fuck all options there. I'm sure there's somebody else. Nothing out of the ordinary, Doctor. Cosmic is way ahead of me. It's because I didn't get on Ark Knights. Uh, I, I should, you know, I should have done. I should have gotten on Ark Knights before I could stream, and I should have just gotten one copy of Toter and then started mastering. Okay, we got another preset stage. That. W w why her, though? <laughs> That's, that's pretty random. Oh, wait. Okay, you can't bring anything. Yeah, I know Doberman's like that, but the default ones are 30, so it's 5% better. This could be the stage before the boss. Hello. We got a power ar armor, boys. Can that be play? Can't why? See, I'm not even kidding. Why can't we have designs like this? Like, why can't we have designs like this? Why does everyone have to look like a goddamn K-pop idol all the time? Like, that's what I like about FGO is you do get, you know, unique stuff. Like, goddamn. That is so awesome. I'd main the shit out of this. Like, Jesus Christ, that's awesome. It's even got some green on it. Yeah, we get fucking Lolly Nero over in uh, FGO right now. Six star robot someday. I wish, dude. That is so cool.
What's that sound? They're just like hanging out. They're gonna run into that. I like how she's named Morgan, by the way. I can't remember. Is she playable? I, I, I don't remember. I'm thinking no. Next chapter? Wait, she is? So chapter uh, 12? Huh. What's cha is tra chapter 12 more of this British stuff, or is it a new area? Like, what's, uh... What's the deal? So I guess Steam Knights are like a technology from a while ago. Oh, more, more Britain? Oh, that's cool. I'm fine with that. This reminds me of Patriots theme. I miss Patriot, by the way. They're definitely never making this playable. He's too big. Like, look at that. That's not gonna happen. You can make it take up like two deployment slots or four deployment slots, and if there's no room, you can't place them. That'd be cool. Yeah, he, he big. RIP! I wonder if this is going to be a boss fight with this preset team. I kind of doubt it because they don't normally do more than one major boss fight. Chat, did chapter eight... Uh, did chapter eight uh, come out before or after that event with Kalsit and the um, Emperor's Blade. I, I think it came out after, and I would certainly hope so. Before? Wait, really? That actually makes me kind of sad, because it's, 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 the bit with Patriot is so much funnier if you've already seen the Emperor's Blade from that event and like how much trouble it gives you. And like, he's one of the weaker ones, right? And then there's three of them. Uh, and I, I just, I, that bit was so amazing when they're on the stage and you think you're gonna fight them. And if you've already seen those before, you're gonna have like such an oh shit moment, right? If you've seen it from the event. And then they leave, right? They go fight Patriot. And then they get their asses kicked, right? Like that's so much better. Yeah, actually I do like the Emperor's Blades a lot. Patriot's cooler, but like Emperor's Blades are really cool. I'm sure they'll show up again. That, that part was just so funny, dude. Only 10 enemies. We have no decisions to, to make here. Is this an order? Other than skill activations. I await your without blade. I can run you through. So I've seen a lot of people that get like annoyed that there's so many British voices in this game and they like don't get it, but it's because they're from the area that is like British and that's like always like the Victorian area is is like always been that canonically and they even say like lore wise they basically speak English because they say when they hear the Rainbow Six operators talking they think they're from Victoria because of the language they're speaking 
But it's just weird. I've seen a lot of people that don't like all the, like the British voice acting, and I'm like, bro. <laughs> it's like supposed to be that way. You gotta understand though, uh, a lot of people like don't actually hear British accents very much. Like really, they're no no offense to Britain or the UK, they're just not on the, the world stage a lot anymore. So if you don't live there, a, a lot of people aren't really used to it. And it's it's more of like people were annoyed that there were so many, but it's like it's because a lot of characters come from that place in the game. So but yeah, it never bothered me. It, I, I thought it was fine. And from what I, I, I've seen, they're basically trying to do that for all the regions. Uh, I, I actually, I gotta give it to them. They've put a lot of effort into that recently. Uh, where they've been trying to like get the right... Uh, like, cause I know they like did... Um, they have like a dub of the game that's not for the full cast, but it's for all the characters of that region for that language. And uh, that's pretty cool, so... Yeah, honestly, the dub started off, you know, kind of whatever, but I think the dub's been getting really good, so... Maybe I should not blow this, but we'll see. This thing must be so damn tanky. This guy might be baiting my skills. That skill is pretty nice on Siege, honestly. It's really good in the roguelike. Oh. Well, he has a sprite! Hi, guy. Why can't you be playable? What's he do? Damn, he's awesome. Nice damage to her. If you get his skill though, that'll be decent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, I kinda figured. Uh, that looks awesome though. I don't know if we got this. Hmm. What, um... Okay, he doesn't actually bleed. Okay, I was about to say, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Does this like Steam Knight have like an AI in it or something that's got like memories and stuff? It's piloted. It seemed to be like, you know, in a, like a s slumber state for a really long time. It's a Steam Gundam, <laughs> pretty much. Give it to a Noir, that's what I would do. I'm guessing in like the era before this one, there were a lot of Steam Knights.
So, is this guy gonna be the boss and not the uh, sword dude earlier? Because I guess, if that's the case, the sword dude's gonna be the, the boss probably in the next chapter. That would explain, though, why he didn't have, like, a you didn't really... He didn't have a health bar and a lot of stuff. He wasn't, like, a completed character yet. I don't know what they're going to do by the end of it, though. I'm not sure he's going to be the bad guy for the whole thing. Doesn't really seem like that. He seems more like a Wadim to me, but... I don't know, it's hard to say, like, all the Tallulah stuff is still kind of in limbo, and that might even be event stuff eventually, I don't know. What I'm really surprised by is IS-4 is set in the Demon Land. I'm, I am I didn't think they would do that. I mean, they could still go to the Demon Land in the main story, but I was, I was really surprised by that. I don't mind, because the roguelike is my favorite game mode in the so far. And so having it in a cool setting like that is awesome, but, um, yeah, I didn't think they would do that. Honestly, Arknights has really good lore, and it has really, like, really good, like, character motivations and stuff. It just doesn't do a very good job of telling the story. Although, they seem to be doing better. From what I've seen, uh, what I've read of the second half of it, they have been doing better. But, like, it's such a, it's really disappointing because... The first half is not written very well, in my opinion, and they do a really bad job of just, like, dropping things in your lap all at once, and, like... They, they wanted, like, a lot of the stuff about Patriot and Frost Nova to be a surprise, but that was bad. Like, that doesn't work, right? Their, they're, 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 like, big moments work a lot better if you know about them leading up to them. Like, way better. And there's just a lot of problems with 1.0 like that, where they kind of just... drop everything in your lap all at once and then move on to the next thing. Uh, it's not paced well, and there's a lot of like really chunky dialogue that's really exposition heavy and that kind of thing. And it, it sucks because I really like a lot of the characters and themes in 1.0. I, I just think they're executed so poorly, and the anime is not making it any better, which is extra disappointing. But the, the second half of the story has seemed to be a bit better. It still has a lot of exposition problems and that kind of thing, but it has seemed... I haven't read all of it, though. I need to do that. I generally like reading Arknights uh, when I'm not playing it. Same for Limbus. I, I, when I'm doing the gameplay, I want to focus on the gameplay. When I'm when I look up my lore, I, I want to focus on that. Is she betraying us or dying? Is she like sacrificing herself? Like what's happening here? I, I was reading for a second there. If she dies there, then she's definitely not going to be uh, playable. She wanted to be a steam knight as a kid. Is that the steam knight right there? Like when he was young or something? I assume this is like a flashback or something. Just kids. Or is this like at the orphanage? Yeah, I'm guessing this is at the orphanage. Okay, blah blah blah. That music. <laughs> Not really appropriate. Cons okay. I'm assuming this is but wait, what? Is that what I just watched? Weird that I can see that before... Nope. That's weird that you can do this before going to the boss. Wait. Is that the end of the story? 
So this is like a Hercules thing? What? So canonically, like the main canon is this. But then there's like a side thing to go fight the boss. That's crazy. Huh. So did she just like entrap that guy? Like in a, 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 a in that building or whatever, like sealed in? Is that kind of the thing? So yeah, I guess canonically she just sealed him off and then you you move on and that that's that. And then this is just like a thing for fun. Huh. That's kind of, it's actually kind of cool, as, especially because they know you'd be pissed if you didn't get to fight it just for fun. So they at least give you the stage just to do it for fun. So I mean, that, that's no big deal. That is pretty interesting though. All right, well. Two blue boxes, gonna have those fucked up guys. Try to work in uh, J. Chat isn't um, wouldn't what's his name? Especially if if you're not using high rarity stuff, isn't uh, Thermex actually kind of good for a boss like the bear and IS2? I've never thought about that, but when you're like having to spam nuke him like that, if you just drop Thermex on the bear, that's a pretty big damage boost. If you got like three people smacking the bear at once or something, I guess not bad. It's a shame my uh. Because you don't have, you don't have a free-to-play vampire or uh, scatty ulther or anything like that. All you have is Thermex. The uh, shitty thing is though, my Thermex is still pretty far away from being maxed. He's only 21% right now. I, I'm guessing he goes up to like 35% or something. Oh yeah, there is her, that's right. She's not exact, she's not, she's not, um, wait, isn't she from chapter, was she from chapter 10? Like, I can't remember if she was an event or chapter 10. Because if she's an event, it's not available f yet. But I think she's chapter 10, isn't she? Okay, so she is then very free to play, but you have to get pretty far into the game, right? You're not going to necessarily have that. Some people are going to be doing IS-2 and not have done chapter 10 yet. But yeah, that, that's the most free to play alternative then. That's actually pretty handy though. But yeah, I, I didn't find her that good when we messed around with her. But, um... Yeah, we'll see. Thermax is pretty usable though for like the bear. I can see you just dropping him and that's that. Hold on. I, I want to look up what Thermax is when he's maxed. Because mine's 21% right now. Go away, game press. You suck. He goes up to 30%. And then his explosion does 400% of his attack. It's a good bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. How long does it last? Only eight seconds. That's the hard part. Like, yeah, I wish it was 10 seconds. Yeah, I, I saw they're getting a new robot. Did they show its gameplay? Cause I could see a, uh, a defender that doesn't cost deployment. I could see that being good if it can live a little bit. Cause like castle just does isn't tanky enough to to be like a good emergency wall. Although I, I know um, uh, Castle's got like the melee damage up, right? Wait, he's a guard. And he's not max for me either, although he's farther along. Way farther along. So I guess if you had the deployment uh, or the squad size for it, you could do Castle and Thermex, drop them together, and your melee guys are doing a lot more damage then. Like, that's, that's a huge buff. That, that is potentially useful for the bear. But yeah, mostly there for the, the buff. It's just he is, he is a one block that costs no deployment limit. But he's only got 1,300 health and then only 90 defense. So I'm, I'm curious how the... The defender will be. So yeah, you got Thermex and him for that. And I guess Justice Knight, Justice Knight was supposed to be that for ranged, but she's only against drones, so... Holy shit, she's not trust 100. Also, no talents whatsoever. I do love the robots, though. 
Honestly, I think Thermax is pretty good when you're working with the uh, Chive because you can deploy him so much more. It's like the dream. All right, well, let's see what the boss is about. Yeah, I, I, I think Justice Knight is kind of the most scuffed. Uh, I wish they didn't do it like that. Oh, God. No one likes you. No, I mean, I don't mean you as in the the artillery. They're, they're, they're cool. I mean that the, the whoever made this. Like, whoever, whoever the fuck did that is such an ass, dude. Oh, God. I don't even know what the plan is here. Banger music. Um... Okay. So, uh... We have to go. Who cares about the boss when they can do that, by the way? Good start, good start. Hmm. Might need another bait unit. D dare I say we might even need Yato to bait that. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be tough. Let's move. Time waits for nobody. I really like his voice actor. Does a good job. Let's go. Of course you stun that one. Ash, you fucking tool. Oh my god! <sighs> Don't encourage her, chat. Don't encourage her. I wonder if these things give you enough defense to survive. That would explain their existence. Speeding up. I'm all stocked up. Ready to go. Target spotted. It's not like Ash is going to do much damage anyway. Sorry, doctor. Target's out of range. I, I can't hit them. We might actually need Yato here, but we'll see him. Let's move. Time waits for nobody. Hmm? Ah! Surely I'm not going to regret this. In case anyone was wondering, that was not enough uh, defense. Damn it! Did anyone remember to bring the ammo? <laughs> he tried. Uh. We might need um Myrtle. Speeding up. What? Why is this stage called the Steam Knight? It should be the get fucked by artillery. Target's out of range. I, I can't hit them. I might have to just set up out of their range and build up DP. It's 
pretty hard to fight that head on right now. <laughs> it's not, uh, not great. Too bad some people just can't live and let live. Don't, uh, don't mind us back here. Very brave, chat. That's a decent spot. I might actually want Gator healing. Oh my god! We've been had! Artillery chads versus Rogue. Uh, that's about right. Alright. There's always sus. By the way, Nerdage is such a good emote. It just reeks of that actually energy. It's so good. Be nice if we could get some in, so farther into this boss theme so we could hear it. I might need to set up right there. I wanted to set up farther though so I could kill both of them potentially. Ow, why did I not drop gravel? Let's go. That makes you get too close. They know what they did. I see you fuckers out there. Why did I do that? Oh my god. Move, you slow piece of shit! Oh my god. Just such bad everything. You know, that one six star that has like that mortar thing um, that's like permanent, that, that'd be really good for picking that guy off from the distance and killing those drones hanging out in there. Yeah, put her like right here. Bomb in here. That'd be really good. Because she'll just kill these guys for free. She seems pretty strong, to be honest. And I know she's kind of overshadowed by Chalter, but regardless of that, she still seems good. I'm gonna set up here first. I don't want to risk them dying. Oh, setting her up sooner means she might kill this one in time, which would be nice.
She can bait these. They are pretty cool. They're just asses. Getting somewhere. Why am I trying this? I know it's not going to work. This is just pure coping. Incredible. That was that was damage. It, it existed. Like damage happened. Up. Oh boy. I like how they don't give you game mechanics, they just give you lore. God damn it. That shield doesn't look uh, inviting. Fuck! Oh, that's bad. Is a stupid airstrike guy like the? Oh my god! I I have a few concerns. We might need like Matterhorn or something. This guy's gonna have more than one phase for sure. Um, jet man, no, 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 no. Hi. Don't you fucking do that. Well, I mean, she was about done with her thing anyway. Oh my God. What an ass. Finally, we can hit this guy. Let's go. I should have been doing that a while ago, I forgot. Excuse me for being distracted by the giant fucking robot. Fuck. Damage mod check. Wait, courier's dead? Fuck! Alright, we learned some things. Also, Ash sucks, dude. Oh my god, she's so useless. She's barely doing any damage to those guys. Why do I ever bring her for anything? Yeah, these guys have a uh, good defense. They're better off with like haze or something. 
God, the amount of times I've replaced Ash with Haze and it's an upgrade. Um, Toter was doing a bit, but he wasn't doing anything too crazy. He was helping picking off these guys, but... Doesn't seem like too much of a Toter stage. I might want to back up Tank, honestly. It's always gummy, but, um... I wonder if Korra could survive his, like, rocket punch. That's a lot of mechanics. Comes immune to crowd control, so I guess he is stunnable at, at the start. Highest max HP. That's why he went for uh, Donkey, because she had her skill up. He may not have a second form. That'd actually be a little disappointing, but if that's the case, it's, it's because of them. God, click would be really good here. This is a fun stage. It's not as hard as Chapter 10. Nothing has been as hard as Chapter 10 so far. But it's, it's, this has all been good content. This has not been like a letdown at all. And I, I could see this stuff being ridiculous on hard mode. I'm gonna wait on the healer, try to get Donkey out sooner. I guess I could just retreat her to get the DP back. I don't think it matters. I forgot to drop her. Probably okay though. I don't even remember what I did for these guys. I can just wait for now. Damn it. I was supposed to bait that one. I think I, that might screw it all up. Damn it. Did anyone remember to bring the ammo? I saw Kyra doing Tulula Hell mode a little bit. In a lot of ways, it actually looked easier than regular Tulula. Like, you have to manage the civilians, which is annoying, but... It did, like, the, the enemies on the stage just look straight up easier to deal with, to be honest. But it's still Tallulah, so you still have all the, like, micromanagement bullshit you have to do and stuff. And, like, the civilians could actually tank, um... Two fireballs, which is kind of shocking. Yeah, so once the second one starts shooting, I think you can just send her back. Yeah, Toter might need to be something different. I don't think he's going to do too much on this stage. A lot of anti-defense stuff going on. And it's not like anyone's invisible or anything like that. Ah, 
の治療範囲に入れここにしようっと。I might be too soon to bait that because now they're just going to do it again when they're coming up. I guess we'll see. I'll let him do it again and then I'll drop Utage. Any second now. There we go. And they can't move while they're doing it. Wait, I thought I put Matterhorn on the team. Shit. Whoops. Man, that is such an awesome design, though. Like, holy crap. It's kind of risky. I should have already done that if I was going to do it, though. We could have killed this one already. Damn it, I shouldn't have done that. Should have waited. She can't swing, there's no point in taking the damage. That's gonna hurt. Damn. We're gonna have a problem with over here. I think this damage is spread out. I could have waited to have dropped her. Maybe I should wait to do Donkey's skill until after he does this because she's just gonna die. And yeah, she didn't even get that shot off. Well, Jay's dead. Just don't have enough oomph for these guys. Gravel is stupid good here though, like Jesus Christ, the amount of like stall she's doing for us. Like it's actually ridiculous. These fuckers though. I don't want to drop gravel for this guy. No choice though. Still a bunch of these guys left. Not a fan! Gravel's not gonna be up in time. Also, I got like no DP right now. Doctor, 
Oh, he's got a phase two. The game just didn't tell you about it because they're asshats. Fuck, that's so bad. Holy shit. I can't believe it killed that many. It even killed uh, Pure Stream. Why are we taking corrosive damage? I guess it's just a really big box. Well, at least we got a little bit of time to recoup, but we have no healer, no tank. Wish I had Matterhorn right now. I should have Matterhorn instead of um, Toter, unfortunately. He's not going to make it to his skill without a healer. The problem now is everyone's too expensive. If I drop someone now, I'm not going to have enough to set up a healer. 18 seconds before our healer's up. 18 seconds before a tank is up. I should have do done that first. This gravel's up now. Oh, fuck off. I don't have a fucking healer. Also, he can't block. He, he's not. A, I don't. Well, I don't know if this tile lets him do it. I don't think so. I should. Oh man. She can buy me a bit of time. Oh, if only I had a vanguard. Help! <laughs> we got so many DP problems right now. I don't actually have J up. And I don't have enough DP to drop anybody. God, we're gonna lose because of DP. Oh, he's having a little bit of mercy. Let's cost 40. Unironically, having another like fast redeploy would make a huge difference here. Everyone dying to that is just really hurting me. I can't get a damage down. I shouldn't have dropped her. I didn't need her. I could have dropped a DPS like Donkey. Yeah, the second healer is actually overkill for Gravel and Jay. Not as good as Donkey, but she's cheaper.
Ah, oh, fuck. Gives me some DP at least. Oh, that's GG. Well, we'll see. Maybe it's not. Hayes lived. I don't know if, if pure stream is enough to keep Jay up here. Fuck. Oh, I should have sent him back to get the DP. Come on, Hayes. Keep winking. Oh, sweet Jesus. This one might be the end of us. Uh, I should have just retreated them. Yeah, I should have retreated all three of them, so I got a bunch of DP back. Oh, Jay just killed him. Okay. Oh my god! I, I, I should have retreated them. That would have been way smoother. So imagine if I could have just had like Myrtle in the corner or Courier in the corner. What I should have done was when I dropped Pure Stream, I should have dropped Courier in the corner instead. Because we, uh, one healer was enough to keep Gravel up until the punch and Jay up until the punch and that, that, that like caps you. So there was no point. That, yeah, that's not auto ready. I, I could make that stage auto ready though. I see what to do for the most part. Oh my god. Well, that was chapter 10. I love chapter 10 actually. That was nice. I, it's a little easy though, at least on normal mode. Like chapter 9, or this was 11, excuse me. But uh, 9 and 10 were both harder than this for the most part. That was a very unique boss though, and I'm sure on hard mode that's going to be just so rough. All right, so if you want to get the rest of her potential... Wait, that's not even enough though. Is there some other way to get... Wait, hold on. How do you get back to that screen? Is it, it must be these or something. The age stages, wow. They make getting this welfare a uh, hell on earth, dude. Yeah, Gravel's in BP there. Now that I understand that though, I'll be able to deal with that boss way better next time. Nothing out of the ordinary, doctor. What a fun boss though, really like it. Did Cairo like it? I assume he did. I I'm not gonna lie though, the boss isn't the Steam Knight, it's the, it's the mortars. The artillery. Like, absolutely. Look at this guy. Can't be mean to that guy, it's impossible. Uh, where is the welfare? There she is. Yeah, wow, that's just straight up one. That, that's yikes. Could use the epic guard tokens, boys. Whew. Let, let's do one hard mode real quick. Because the first stage is probably going to be a joke anyway. And then I think I need to take a break to get food. And then, um... You can do Kirby or Star Rail or something. Alright, what's the difference now? They have increased attack. I'll probably just bring this team. So, um... Yeah, Toter was kind of pointless and I could have even... I could have even brought another, um, Vanguard, which would have been good. Are you winning? We did win. Dude, that, that Kirby game. My god. Yeah, I might play more Kirby. I want to watch Cairo's VOD. When I'm, I'll probably eat dinner and watch Cairo's VOD. See how he fought the boss and stuff. Hello. Hello. NT. It's you. Yeah, the uh not doing too much damage. I think it's these guys over here though that are getting the big buff. I don't know about this music right now.
Chat, um, this was way better than FGO's collab. It's not close. Dude, she got so much attack speed at minimum health there. I will say though, chapter 10 was more meaty than this for sure. But it was still good. Okay, we're actually getting a little beat up over here. Ooh, shit. Please kill that one. Uh oh. Is Gravel helping? Okay, these are the. Oh, yeah, we're, we're fine. A little fucked up, but we got it. Yeah, I, li I like Chapter 11. Okay, let's do one more chat. Let's see. God, we didn't use Ash! Dude, fuck this game, dude. Ash was so useless. I just really took her off the team. I mean, she wouldn't have done anything. Like, what the fuck was Ash gonna do on that stage? So useless. Like, when was the last time Ash was actually good, dude? She was super shit uh, in this chapter. She was super shit in the last two events. The America event and the, like, the summer event. She was so useless in both of those. Like, May and, and uh, and, um, Meteor were both so much better than her. Not even close. Like, and B Blitz was okay, kind of, but, I mean, really, a cheaper tank would have been better. Like, a base cost, because of the way it gets multiplied. Like, uh, almost any tank would have worked. I wonder if Matterhorn can survive the punch with his skill up. Or, uh, or Korra. I, I bet you somebody can. Actually, she does not take care of the, uh, the singers in the Phantom fight. Unless she has upgrades. If it's just vanilla Ash, she's not enough. Which is insane, because I think almost all six stars can do it. Except for her. But she has to have some kind of extra collectible to do it. And that's on normal mode, by the way. On hard mode, just get out of here. She could be good on this stage, though. We'll give her uh, a go here. It's ready. You know what? Yes, yes, I know. Here's the real copium. Let's work together. Yeah, let's work together because Frost can't do it on her own. I hope her mod helps. I really hope her mod helps. I know it's armor ignore, but I don't know the exact details of it. I should have flashbanged that guy. Ouch. The Chanka would be nice. Where am I even going to put frost traps? Like, you have this little area right here, and that's it. And I don't even have the DP for it right now. Uh-oh. Wait, am I in hard mode? I don't think I'm on hard mode right now. Or was... I don't know. I don't know if that was hard mode or not. Oh, no, it was. I was. Whoops. God, Frost is just complete dead weight here. Oh, you get 3 HP even on hard mode? That's strange. Let's look alive out there. You probably don't get the... the loot, though. How's that? 
I'm all stuck. Stay clear of the black. Don't work. That's all. All right, don't set up frost. Not yet, anyway. Trying to be as Rainbow Six as possible here, though. You know, this might be better. I actually forgot which one of these I brought. We're ready for company. I'm all stuck to watch for the blast. Speeding up. At your service. Let's go. So this guy wakes up in the morning and puts that on, by the way. please okay ash is not doing a very good job over there i wasn't really paying attention that's not good also tachanka can't hit over there fuck yeah i figured he'd die there All right, we got it, just barely. There's one more enemy. Nothing. Should have brought a more ranged DPS. I didn't need you, Tage, or any of that. All right, a bit spicier, though. <laughs> Toter facing out. <laughs> Wouldn't hit anything. I actually should have had him facing down, I think. Okay, I think we'll stop there, chat. I will go get some food. I'll watch some of Cairo's VOD. I'm gonna relax. And then later tonight, we will come back with more Kirby Superstar Ultra, which is th just... Honestly, it was harder than, than Chapter 11. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Um, Jesus Christ. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see you guys soon. We'll try to play some Star Rail soon. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some grub. Dude, that, that's su that Superstar Ultra game. That, that game is troll as shit. I need Cairo to play that, man. God. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'll be back in a bit. Take care.